Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to the world's most depressing farm. But I can now call it a farm because we're, what, five or six episodes in, and I finally have crops. We got carrots and onions, and they are going to be growing in 48 hours, which I believe is two months in-game for the record. So, uh, yeah, two days, is, or every day, I believe, is one month. Anyways, well, we wait for those things to grow. Obviously, I can plant more, but I just want to make sure I'm doing everything right before I waste all my money on seeds. Uh, let's go explore. What I would like to work on today is my relationships with all of the other weird residents around this place. I do know if you do their quests and whatnot, you can indeed get new things to do. So, uh, yeah, we're going to talk to some people. I guess we'll fight the village drunk so I can get more alcohol. You need something again? Oh, um, Henry, we can actually talk. Are you all right? All right, I was just asking if you're okay, dude, Jill. All right, and already we're on a, a quest to get some fox kills, so I will agree to that. Uh, and yeah, I believe this just gives us new rewards and un increases our relationship with all these guys. So yeah, there's a lot of things we can do in this game. Whoa, bring a new animal to the world. What? Did I get a chicken or a pig? That is the question. Anyways, I got a bunch of quests. I'm now sleeping to start off a new day. And then we're going to see what we can do with these quests, because I didn't actually even look at what I'm supposed to do. More importantly, though, what is my new animal? Where is it? Okay, so yeah, that was actually a quest. I think it was a chicken, because I'm not seeing... I got my two female pigs that I bought, and good old Fluffy here, but I don't think I have any other pigs, so it must have been a chicken. And there's another quest done. I didn't even know that was part of a quest, but just collecting my eggs got me another one. Perfect. All right, so I'm supposed to hunt both a fox and a wild boar. So I guess we're going to do some hunting today for these quests uh, and see if we can find anything else, obviously, out there, because that's generally where I'm getting the most benefits in this game. It's just by simply exploring. Oh, there's a boar. All right, I wonder if I can sneak up on this guy. That is what I need. Why does this happen? Every time I start talking in this game, the uh, whole scenery just aggressively changes. Can you stop running away? I mean, I guess now you can run, run away. That kind of makes sense. Damn it. I should have just waited. I'm too impatient. There we go. Got him. Kill a wild boar. Job well done. All right. I got one quest done for this guy. Is there any reward? 500 bucks. Well, that's not that great. But hey, I'm actually starting to run out of money. So 500 is quite a bit. These things do make sense to do. I know I have... There was an egg quest for this lady. Brought some eggs with me. So I should be able to finish that. There you go. Is there any reward for that? 120. I mean, I guess that's okay for a few eggs. All right, Tommy's supposed to do the boar. I wonder, do I have to bring the boar here? I left it at home, damn it. Okay, so I left it at my front gate. I should be able to drag it with me. And there we go. We'll just walk back with the boar, see if we get anything decent for this, because he technically wanted the carcass. So will you talk to me now? I have something for you, the giant boar. Is there any reward? 300? What did I get 500 for? Because that's insane. Regardless, this is great for money. I'm back to 3,000 bucks now. Uh, that's like double my money. Also, this guy is supposed to show me where a bunker is. Where are your feet? If I get drunk and talk to him. So I will gladly accept that deal. Uh, oh, I, I brought water, not not vodka. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I did, bri the, I did bring the vodka. Perfect. Okay, so can I talk to you now? Okay, it says hammered. So I don't think I got drunk enough. Hopefully two is enough because I am out of a vodka at that point. So, oh, see, I don't, I don't think it's enough. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta go buy some more. I would like a, a an alcohol, please. Oh my god, 140. It's, I think it's worth it. There we go. I am freaking hammered. I am here to talk to you now. Is there any reward? Uh, I guess he showed on my map where there's a bunker. May as well fight while we're here. That would be too much. Enough for today. Ne okay, never mind. I got oat mash. Interesting. I wonder what that's for. I got apple mash as well. Okay, so that was a big upgrade. It pays to get drunk, I guess. Okay, and here is the bunker right here. I don't think I've actually been to this one. I think we know what we're going to get here, which is more ammo, which I'll gladly take. I'm still trying to hunt those foxes. Okay, what? Oh, wait. I, I think they wanted a fox fur. Yes! <laughs> I don't even need to hunt a fox now. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. We also have those miraculous injections uh, that I gave to Fluffy. He's still green, by the way. I don't know what the hell these things do, but I probably shouldn't do it again. What is this? What What was that? Uh, letter from Maria's husband. 
Fortunately, I managed to find it. Mary's husband would haunt me as a punishment. I just hope that what he wrote while dying will not confuse his wife too much. What the hell does that mean? Looks like we have another lantern if we want. I don't think I'm going to steal another one. And lots more loot. Perfect. <gasps> what the hell's going on here? Did, did, did they barricade themselves? What is this? Oh, I can probably... Yeah, I can take that as well. Good thing I checked that. All right, I think that's everything for this room. And then we just have a two-way exit. I don't... I never actually tried. I'm assuming that's how you climb up, but maybe not. Anyways, that's everything here. Uh, that was probably the most lucrative quest, the the old village drunk. Because not only that, we, we learned about the mash, which I believe is how you get into uh, distilling alcohol. Okay, so this is where the minefield was. Uh, I really want to disarm a mine just to say I did it. So far, so good. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, what the hell do I have to do? Align the bolts to the green edge. The mine will blow up if you don't make it in time. Align the bolts to the green edge. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so you can cancel. So, wait, to the green edge. So, we want it to be like that. <laughs> Damn it! I was so close. Okay. Well, that sucks. Come on. Come on. No. No. Yes. Yes. Oh, I screwed up there for a second, but I got it. Okay. I have dis... No. What the frick? Did I get it? Did I... Did I get one? What just happened? Did I rearm it accidentally? No. No. Yes. Okay. Pick up. I, I armed the mine accidentally. So wait, can I use these to hunt? That's hilarious. Okay, let's not get too confident, though. We are nowhere near the bunker. At least I know what I'm looking for. They're green. That's why I couldn't see them. Oh, great. Silent Hill is here again. Fantastic. Oh, God. Is this an actual storm? I was just joking. What the hell was that? Oh. Oh, God. Did, did, did I just fall into a hole? I, th I thought this was part of the bunker, if I'm honest. What? Um. Help! I don't even have a lantern here so I can see. There's, there's no door here. Did I literally... Is this like game over? How do I... What do I do? Ah! Ah! This is, this is, this is horrifying. Yep. This is, this is my life now. Somehow fell in a hole and I don't know how to get out. I... Like legit. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Can I... Oh, I can fast travel. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we're going back. Don't ask me how I got out of that hole. You don't want to know. Okay, so these quests unlock more quests. Now they want me to get a deer. Uh, but yeah, it looks like these quests are going to be great. All right, well, I have a quest. I need to sell one of my adult animals. Unfortunately, there we go. I found one that isn't pregnant. Uh, I also have no food, so we have to go pack to buy food anyways. And I'm supposed to sell something to the state agricultural farm. So we'll sell one of my chickens that is not pregnant. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy my wonderful chicken? I guess I need to put it down. Okay, so there we go. Now it's not going to run away. Let us trade. Indeed. How do I trade said chicken if it's on the freaking ground? All right, so yeah, I figured I had to put it in the pen. It's in the pen. I wonder... Hold on. Do I have to let it out? Do I have to let it... No, there's no way it would make me let it out. I, I, I'm so confused. All right, maybe I do release it and it just stays here. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Stay there. Stay there. Please, please, please buy my chicken. Well, I I am officially confused. I wonder if it's not a full adult or something. It doesn't seem to be leaving. I mean, it's a chicken. All right, so I'm just going to keep him there. Let's go see if we can get any more quests here before we go. All right, this guy just wants a sig. So uh, I already have one, actually. So here you go, buddy. I thought I had one. Did I get rid? No, it's right here. How do I, how do I give him it? Oh, wait. I think he wants me to make cigarettes. If I hit help here, it actually shows. Make sure you have some tobacco on you. Click on a piece of paper, then a lump some lump of tobacco when vertical rolling bar shows up. Okay, so yeah, I do, I'll get into that. Uh, does he have the station here? Is this... Oh, yeah, this is what this guy does. All right, so we'll come back later once we uh, get into tobacco making and do that. That's definitely something I want to do. I want to get into moonshining and tobacco making because I'm assuming those are pretty lucrative. Problem is I got a million things going on. I really want to increase my relationship with her. All right, I shared a smoke with this lady to help with my relationships. I only had one. Uh, this is the seed lady, so I got to get good with her. You need to improve relations with the trader first. Okay, so this is going to be a long process. And it looks like that's to be about it for here. So we got to get back home now. I'm going to have to walk home because I'm over encumbered. Uh, but yeah, we'll start heading our way home and uh, we'll do some more quests. All right. 
right, it's a new day. Let's see how my uh, wonderful massive crop fields are doing. We got to be getting close to being done. And yes, we got eight hours left on uh, both of these. So great. Now I want to get into the mash. I thought I unlocked it, but I actually looked into it. And you unlock the mash that I'm wanting, at least, at the farm of Thaddeus. So we, we have to go talk to Helen there. We should get a quest to unlock potato mash, and then we can get into a distillery. Obviously, a dis distillery would be great because I'm an alcoholic. But not only that, you can give alcohol to all the people around to increase your attitude with them. So this is the Helen I need. Uh, well, looky here. Are you sure can make better cl better claret than I, than I? I bet you can. I'll give you the recipe, but you have to get the ingredients and the equipment yourself. I don't even know what that word means. So great. All right, so I guess I didn't even need anything over that because it says I already have the recipe. So now we obviously need to plant some potatoes. Uh, does this lady sell potatoes? No. She does sell the gra the crafting station, though. This is actually pretty big. I understand it's just a, a stool, but... Oh, damn it. I got to get my relationship up with her. Uh, but yeah, that's how you craft moonshine and I believe cigarettes as well. So that's definitely something we want. It's good to know where it comes from, at least. I guess I could just buy potatoes and make mash myself. So I'm going to buy those. And there's a distillery here. Can I actually buy it from her? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. So maybe I don't need the stool. I hope I don't. I'm going to buy one distillery. And there goes all my freaking money. But that's okay. Because we are going to be able to make lots once we obviously start farming some potatoes. All right. So that was a good find. We're going to travel home real quick and see if we can at least set up this moonshine station. And then next year, we'll go heavy into potatoes. Or, well, we should be able to do it this year because it's only the start of the season. But uh, I just want to make sure this is how we're supposed to do this. So where is my new distillery? Nice. Okay, where do we want to do our illegal activities? Uh, I guess we'll just do it in the corner over here. There we go. What is what is, what is this physics, man? <laughs> there we go. It's all set up. So now, how does this work? We need mash, water, firewood. And I guess it's that easy to make moonshine. Nice. So let's go see if we can make any mash with the 10 potatoes that I bought. I need 20 potatoes, sugar, and jars for that. Thankfully, I already have sugar and jars. Uh, that's one thing I'm going to have to figure out is where to buy sugar. I loot it, but obviously we should be able to buy it somewhere as well. So this isn't as easy as just getting potatoes and then making moonshot out of that. We need sugar as well to ferment, I'm assuming. Oh, great. Uh, I guess I should have talked to the seed lady before I bought carrots myself because she has a quest for me to grow carrots with her free seeds. So looks like we're going to be planting some more carrots here. Obviously came over to also buy potatoes, hopefully. Well, I can literally buy potatoes. You know what? That will give me enough to actually at least make one moonshine. But where the frig do I get? Potatoes are such a staple. Like what? Why am I having a hard time finding where I buy potatoes? Oh my God, Thaddeus has a bike? Okay, I didn't even know Thaddeus was a guy. I'm finding more and more. We got engines, some crappier carts, which might be make sense to buy. I don't want to waste all my money though. I, I don't know where I get potatoes, man. I'm so confused. Oh, I forgot. You don't need seeds with potatoes, do you? You literally plant the potato. I'm sorry. I am not a farmer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that makes a lot more sense. I don't know. Is this going to be good? This is plowed soil, so this should be good. So we're going to put as many potatoes down as we can. Okay, and there is actually all my potatoes planted. So that went better than expected. My other crops are almost done. My, my onion's looking a bit charred. I'm a little worried about that, but I think we're okay. Okay, I can't believe I forgot that, you know, <laughs> potatoes aren't built with seeds. All right, so as we wait for these to grow, I'm just going to expand out my field. I was going to do, like, well-designed lines of crops, but for this starting field, until we get into the heavy machinery, this is just going to be chaotic, because why not? Okay, rested for the rest of the day, and today should be the big day. We finally have our first major harvest. Yes. Ha wait, how do I harvest? I didn't think about this. Um, I thought it's a carrot. Just pull it out of the ground. Okay, there we go. I got five, so I get, is it five per? It seems like it's consistently five. Oh, that one's rotten. <gasps> so the weeds do play an issue. How do I get rid, of the, get rid of the weeds without destroying the carrots? Actually, did I even destroy the carrots? Yeah, I did, because these ones are now potatoes. All right, well, we got another quest done at least. And yeah, it seems like we consistently get five for one seed. So that's probably the same 
with uh yes uh with with everything so onions and potatoes as well so we should have actually quite a few potatoes growing right now for hopefully my successful moonshining business which we will be doing in the very near future but there we go look at that i got 35 carrots and 30 onions and yeah i really gotta figure out how to destroy these without destroying my crops because that's a bit of a problem i'm gonna actually destroy a bunch of carrots right there but i want to get these weeds out of here so I can finish these few small pieces that I wasn't able to do before. All right, yeah, I think that's more than enough for right now. I can't obviously take that out. Oh, it's actually just a rotten carrot. And there we go. Potatoes are 32 hours until they're grown. And as you can see, I got quite a few. Okay, well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. We did quite a bit today. I really wanted to work on my relationships with all the people around. And, well, we got uh, quite a few quests done, and we're going deeper into that. Super excited to get into moonshining in the next episode. Obviously, we're just waiting on those potatoes now. Uh, we have the mash recipe. We have an access point for sugar. So, yeah, we'll see how lucrative making moonshine is. On top of just farming in general, and I definitely do want to get into more animal husbandry in the near future as well once we get a bit more money. But yeah, I'm loving this game. I hope you guys are enjoying this journey as well. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hey there. Before you go, I just wanted to let you know about my second channel, Gast. If you're missing my multiplayer shenanigans, then please consider checking it out. Scan the QR code or copy the link down below. Okay, bye. Get the frig out of here. You have to win. Hit him. Don't let him get the shovel or the tennis racket, dude. Oh my god. <laughs>